Hello everybody, it is Julia here and it's Sunday, which means it's time for a new video. And today I wanted to expand a little bit on the topic that I already have been vocal about in a past video about the importance of owning the files and the data that you produce and that you create, especially if it's content that you want to be able to access everywhere. Last time, I think I mostly focused on the importance of having access to the file offline. So for example, having a backup of the files that you access on Notion also on your computer. But today I want to focus more specifically on the file format that you save your files in. So instead of using a proprietary or maybe an encoded file format like PDF, like DOCX, the importance and the difference that it makes if you actually use, for example, instead Markdown versus the PDF or DOCX file format. Let's see what I mean with that. And I will see you in my screen share in a second. Hello, everybody. So here we are in my screen recording setup. I'm recording from Linux, so I don't have the application and I cannot really move myself around. But I just want to show you what I mean by files that you can access in any computer without needing a specific application. So let's suppose that you have a file that you wrote on Google Docs, this highly important file that contains content that you need to access everywhere. And you decide, you know what, it's probably not worth it to keep it in the cloud because I need to access it on computers even though I don't have internet access. So you think I'm going to download it in open file formats. So for example, I download it in PDF or I download a Word document or I downloaded it in Markdown, which is what I did here where I downloaded this file in these three different formats, docx, Markdown and PDF thinking, you know, okay, now I am safe and I can access it wherever because I don't need an internet connection. Well, yes and no, meaning that these files still need an application to open them, the docx and the PDF file. Only the markdown file is a file that you're going to be able to access wherever. Let me show you what I mean by going to a terminal window. I know this is a bit nerdy, but it's just going to be a second. So we are in the folder where we saved all the files. Here they are in docx, in in Markdown and in PDF. So if we have an application to open the PDF file, here we are, we open it and we can read it in any platform. And generally speaking, the PDF file format is going to be supported on web browsers and there's going to be many applications, even free of charge that you can use to read these files. However, if you don't have a PDF opener application, good luck reading this file, because this is just gibberish that you cannot really understand because it's encoded in a specific file format that you need to decode through a PDF reader. Same goes for the docx file. I do not even have an application here on Linux that allows me to open this file. So it's just going to try to load it and decode it and extract it somehow. But this is just useless for me to access, even though it's offline and even though I own this file in my own computer. Instead, the, the markdown format is going to be a file that I can open without any application. I'm here. I'm using a text editor, but I don't need to. So if I go once again to the terminal and I try to open the markdown file without any application, so just opening and looking at the file content, this is a file that I can open regardless of whether I have an application installed or not. And this is what I mean by making sure that your files are actually yours and are not bound to a specific application. I've been vocal about it in another video. And with this, I do not claim that we actually need to only use markdown formats because a lot of things markdown will not support. You're not going to be able to to make nice formatting of files and include pictures in an easy way through a markdown file. So I'm absolutely the first person to use other file formats when I need to create more rich file documents that I want to format in a nicer way. But for the important documents that I want to keep and to access wherever, I usually create at least a backup copy of that, which only contains the text files and the text content that is in Markdown so that I can access it everywhere. And as long as there's going to be a computer on this earth, I'm going to be able to access that file because it's not going to depend on any application. So. Thank you all for watching this week's video. I hope you liked it. And if you're interested in knowing more and in having more videos about ways in which you can make your data as rock solid and safe as possible uh, against this kind of vendor locking or data ownership problems, or maybe security also security wise, uh, you can maybe leave a comment down below and I would be very interested and willing to do videos on that topic. And otherwise, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you anyways next Sunday. So bye.